New moon, 22nd of April, and it comes wrapped in a bow. Why? Because it's another portal. We've been gifted another portal that's opened, a triple four gateway again. Um, and we must know by now, come on peeps, we must know by now, if we come in across dates and they're like the 11th or the 22nd, like double numbers, it's going to come with a super moon, it's going to come with a portal, it's going to come with something just to power charge it, you know, because that's where we're at right now. So yeah, the triple four gateway, um, or the triple four energy is all about Magdalene, the Magdalene's, the unconditional love, very, very angelic. The angelic realm's just pouring and pouring and sharing so much love and just pure love consciousness down on us at this moment while we work through these challenging times. Um, so just to collate the new moon and that portal, it's a wonderful time right now and an opportunity uh, to be grabbed because new moons, as we know, are all about new beginnings, a brand new wish list, time to manifest and time to think about what you do want in your life. Because we spend so much time working on what we don't want and we get kind of stuck in that cycle of just like release, clear, release, clear. But where's the good stuff? Have you thought about where you're going after this big shift? And I call it the big shift, not the lockdown. It's a big shift. Have you thought about what it's going to look like? Or have you got stuck in that hamster wheel of got to survive, try not to die? Da, 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 da. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, with this, it's like, I'm going to call this the rebuild blog because this for me, um, I, I went deep into meditation today and this is what the message that was brought through, that it is time if you're not thinking about it already. I know many are, but some of us aren't thinking about the um, rebuild stage um, because we got to start thinking about what our new life looks like. You know, are you the same person before you went into this is what's going to come out? Um, you know, do you want to be? Um, do you want to uh, create something different to what you've been doing prior to this? What has this time alone brought up for you? And look, many of you might still be on the fear, like fighting for your life kind of vibration. But try and put that on the back burner for a second and actually shift your, your vibration and your focus onto that wish list. Because that wish list can be very much worked on and grounded and embodied and anchored now. And I think if you start spending time on that, your when you focus on something too much, you can energize it. So it's great to clear stuff. Yes, it is. Of course, we need to do that. We need to be mindful of what's in our space and you can bugger off. Thank you. But sometimes when we do it too much, it's almost like our lives are just wrapped up in just clearing the density and the darkness. But where's the light? Where's the fun? Where's the joy? Where's the creativity? Let me tell you, when you are in your joy, you can create anything. When you're just detached, or not, yeah, detached, unplugged from all of that shit and you start to just read a book or go and do some coloring or you start to do something which really brings your creative self out you go into your heart and then you just start to create things and then they become into manifestation like that okay and that's what these new moons and these 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 portals are all about about giving you now the tools to rebuild the world and yourself and your inner reality to be your outer reality exactly as you want it, high vibration, because it's not about this old paradigm anymore. It's time to cut that shit loose and start to think about the bigger picture. For example, would you, if you were rich enough, <laughs> which we all will be, by the way, we're going to manifest that and that's going to be our true reality of the future. Would you buy a building because you wanted to rebuild it, right? Would you buy a building and just smash smash it down to the ground and then not have any plans beyond that? Utter madness, right? No, you would actually have a plan of your new house of what you want that to look like before you even taken a bulldozer to the place. So this is what I'm talking about. We're bulldozering right now. You've moved into a big old house, needs to have some walls knocked down, needs to pull some wallpaper off the, off the, off the um, walls because it's disgusting. You want to rebuild and you want to revamp, okay? But you don't just do that. You have a plan. You have an idea where you sit there and think, what does my new house want to look like? What colors would go with my sofa? You have a pre-thought about what would look so nice and lovely and that would make your heart happy because that's why we do these things, right? So this is your energy. It's your energy vibe. It's exactly the same. So 
It's about bringing through the newness. Look, none of us have available right now to go and do anything in physicality. That's a given because we're not there yet. But energetically, it's time to start going in within. And then basically reprogram exactly where you want to go beyond this. And that's that might just come in a thought, sat in your lounge with a cup of coffee in the morning going, yeah, oh, I wonder, I wonder what life does look like. You know, it could actually be that you're going to go and journal it or whatever. You're going to do something to start creating ideas. And that is all in your power to do right now. So when you are creating from a place that is joyful and it's just happy vibes and you know it it resonates out there guess what if you're coming from a place of joy that means you're in your heart which means everything you create in your life will be of that same vibration happiness and joy right abundance if you're sat inside and you're going oh my god I'm so fearful I'm full of anxiety I'm scared of everything you know um, I'm actually quite unhappy but I'm not going to do anything about it you're going to create from that place. And guess what? Your life is going to replicate exactly the same externally. So now we can understand why we are all in this craziness right now, because what this whole period has done, this whole era has triggered a lot of fear in front in, in, in everybody, in the whole of humanity. So what's happened is we've created our reality from that intense fear that's come up and then we've just added to all the chaos out there. So that's what's happening. Whereas if we had a world of people that just went, nah, don't believe the hype, don't believe in all this craziness, don't believe that I am, that this is a fearful thing, don't believe I'm going to die because effectively that's what this fear is all about. A human being is always fearful of dying, whether it's by a car or whether it's emotionally or whatever, we don't want to let go because we have fear of death. All of this is because people are hanging on. But how about we bin all of that shit, okay, and put it on the back burner and let's not even try and pick it apart or decipher it. How about work with me here we start thinking about what makes you happy that's really easy and it's fun and guess what trust me when I say this because you will you will see the ramifications of this the good ones when you start to tap in and you start to ask practical questions now I'm not talking airy fairy be an angel flying in the sky and your unicorn stuff here I'm talking real stuff now I'm talking about you with a business okay Where do you want your business to be? Do you actually even want that business? Do you support with your heart the products that you're actually selling? Are you invested in the product, uh, the project that you've created, which was before the big shift? Because if you tap in now, you might find that your business needs to either change or you need to get rid of it completely. And maybe you want to go and live in a hut in Bali. Who knows? But you see what I'm saying? Everything that was created now and prior was old energy was the the pre fifth dimensional energy so the chances are which are pretty big that ain't gonna fly here okay so there's definitely definitely a requirement for you to sit and tap in practically and ask yourself where am I going what's the plan what do I actually really really want to do with my life um and the question is do I deserve it not can I make it happen because if you think you deserve it you will make it happen do you know what I mean so you see where I'm going with this So the way we do this is I urge you to go and get pen to paper. These are the ways that you can bring this into your energy field because I'm going to start talking about grids now. So grids, you are a grid as a human being. Forget the forget the meat jacket and like look at yourself as if you were a grid. You either have a shiny one or you have a shitty one. (laughs) So basically... Get a shiny one. What I'm saying is, is if everything is in alignment and you're basically, you know, really, really focusing on your vibration being high and doing everything that's required to keep that up there, then your grid's going to be good. And you then connect with the grid of the earth. And then when the next person does that, you can actually see it's a ripple effect. Everybody vibrates. Their grids grids are shiny. It connects with the, the grid work of earth. And then everything is just beautiful. And yeah, so you understand that your inner reality is very, very important because your inner reality is in fact your grid, okay? So once you keep your inner reality in check and it's looking good, your grid will be as well, okay? So now, when you want to create what you want in the world, it's going to be done like that, okay? So the way you do that is you take your pen and you start to brainstorm and you can bring it into a journal. I have one here that I work in every day. And you just brainstorm 
and you just let your pen go and you'll, you will write your way to a solution, if not a better plan altogether. Another way to bring it into, into, into your physical, okay, energetically into your physical, into your grid work, because this is all about reprogramming. It can just be through mindful meditation, shoot for, from a vision board, from looking at something and going, hey, there is that shop that I've always wanted. Put a picture on the wall. Look at it. Call it in. Ask for it. Have you even asked for it? All of these things will help the, the whole of humanity, including yourself, to create what it is that you want, which is, which is a happy life, okay? So not all of us are going to want to go and build a three-story um, wellness center. Not all of us are going to want to go and walk sacred lands and go find ourselves. Sometimes it's very, very practical. If, in fact, most of the time, you know, I, I personally, me, I just want to be happy. And I have to look at all of those areas in my life where I'm not happy. And then internally, grid work wise, I need to release and let go of it because the thing is there's only love and there's only happiness and there's only there's only 5D vibration. So we need to clean our shit up, you know? So those are the things that you need to start thinking about, about bringing it into your consciousness, bring it into your mental body, which is here. But how does it feel? Bring that into your emotional body. How does that idea feel to you? And start reprogramming your physical, mental, emotional, and then the spiritual body is like, well, how am I going to call it in? You know, I'm, I'm going to be in my heart. Brilliant. But like, how am I going to call it in? What am I asking for? What does it look like? And it doesn't matter if those ideas change every five seconds or every week. The fact of the matter is, is you're thinking big, you're acting, you're asking for the big stuff. It's okay to ask for abundance. It's okay to ask for a successful business. It's okay to just be happy, ask for it. And then that will basically come into your grid work and it will be like, yeah, high vibrational. And then that will emanate out into the world. So you see right now, the physical side of that, once you've done this kind of work, will show up after the big shift. When we're all able to get out there and start, you know, start really planting our seeds. But right now, energetically planting your seed here is super important. And tomorrow, my goodness, if you do it tomorrow or around these times, you're really, really going to see and feel, because you'll feel the little fizzing and uh, buzzing of energy within. You'll see, see and feel exactly, um, um, you know, what that energy feels like, you know. Now, three big breaths. If you breathe in, one, two, three, those three big breaths taken like that brings you right back into your consciousness and you can feel that my energy has slowed down a bit and I'm talking a bit differently because it's brought me right back in here and then you say out loud, I am, I am, I am, and I was going to say I am light, I am love, but whatever you are, it doesn't matter. It starts with the I am, because you are all of it. I am light, I am successful, I am abundant. Whatever you want to put in there, so those three breaths, declare as above, to the ground, to yourself, I am, because you are it all. And that is where the abundance is, where the connection comes in, okay? So use those energies and start thinking about how you're going to rebuild this world. And it doesn't mean you going out there, you rebuild the world from in here. Now, there is a meditation on my YouTube channel, which I did, which was the Atlantis meditation. And as I said, I can never remember why I called them in the titles because I changed them five million times. But there's an Atlantis one in there, which is walking the new earth. So get into that. Do you know what I mean? Get into that. Play. Feel what it feels like going into the newness rather than constantly being stuck, stuck in the, oh my God, we're going to die by. Because let me tell you, that's a one star hotel. That's a 10 star hotel. And I know where I would rather rather be staying. Now I'm looking at my list here to see if I've missed anything out. Um, so yeah, it's just really important to have it in here because that is where you rebuild. You can only rebuild from here. And that's all you have to do. So you have a responsibility to yourself. And then guess what? We all benefit. So I have a responsibility to myself. And guess what? When I do this, you all benefit. And it's just a beautiful exchange, is it not? So tomorrow, write your wish list on a piece of paper. Write it down. What does it look like? Journal. Have a word vomit. See, you'll be very surprised as to what comes out. Ask yourself the big questions. Am I indeed happy? 
Am I happy? You know, and what does my new life look like? What do I want to do with this? This is an opportunity. This is not an ending. This is an opportunity for you to dive into action because we've had a big reset. So with a big reset become comes with reset, if you choose to take it, comes transition. Because you can't transist into something just like that. You can't. When you want to transist through something, you need to stop the habit. Don't want to do that. Then you have a period of stillness. And then you fire up something brand new because the energy needs to be severed here of how you used to do it. Then you sit in the void, which can be a beautiful place or a horrible place if you choose choose it. But it's a good place. Sit in the void, which is where we are now. And then you have the opportunity to fire up some brand new energy from a higher level to start. So is everything falling apart right now? Yeah. Is it falling apart because we're all going to die? No. Is it a good opportunity, in fact, probably the only opportunity that you're going to get right now to be able to skyrocket up to the next level? Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's all good. It's all good in the hood. So I hope this helps. I also have a lot of information about Twin Flames um, that I'm going to share on a separate blog because this kind of like crosses over to that. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the full, sorry, I keep saying full moon, the new moon, new moon, new moon, new moon energies, the triple four uh, portal gateway the newness, the excitement, the expansiveness. Now go and create because we are a master race of creators. So go do your thing, yo. And I'll see you back here next time. Peace.